Hey guys, so today we're going to be discussing how to get a free wildcard SSL certificate. And for those of us who don't know what a wildcard certificate is, basically instead of getting a, uh, a certificate with one DNS name like mail.yourdomain.com or www.yourdomain.com, you'll be able to add as many as you want uh, of subdomains like web, for example, .domain.com, mail www you can add them and use the same certificate without any rekeying or anything and that's that's just great and it's an expensive certificate but today i'm going to show you how to get it absolutely for free and in about a few minutes now what you need for this is a domain name like mine is called mmajorlabs.com you also need to act an access to the external D dns so you can add some text records for verifications and a, a client called ACME client, which I'm going to leave a link in the description below where you can download it also as well. So let's get to it. And uh, we're going to start with the Acme client here. So I've already downloaded the client and I extracted it. And uh, basically, we're going to open run this app. Now, once you open this app, It'll ask you for uh, your email address. Please put in the correct email address since it's going to be used for notifications and re renewals and such. I've already done that, so I came to this menu. And what we want to do here is pick M, which creates a full option. That's going to allow us to customize uh, how we want to do it. I want to go ahead with manual input. And now the host is your uh, domain. I'm going to go ahead and put in the star dot my domain, and that's going to make it a wildcard certificate. And I'm just going to go with the default friendly name. So here I'm going to go ahead and uh, just pick single certificate, which basically applies to all subdomains. And I'm going to go ahead with uh, create verification record records manually. And bear in mind, if you do it this way, the auto renew is not is not possible for the but but for this demo, I'm going to go ahead with it. I'm going to go ahead with with RSA key. And now I'm going to pick the PFX format, which is the most common format. Bear in mind, you can actually. Uh, after you get the PFX format, you can convert it into different formats if you need it. Also, the uh, app here would ask you if you want to generate a second format if you want. So I'm going to go ahead and go with three. And it's asking me where would, you, would I like to save it. I have uh, a temp1 folder on my C drive that I wanted to save it there. It's asking me how do I want to put in the password for this one. I'm going to go ahead and type two so I can enter it manually. And I do not want to save this password. Here it's asking me if I want additional uh, formats. And I'm just going to go with no. Number five. And I'm just going to go with three no additional installation steps. And now what it's asking me basically is to add this DNS record to my uh, DNS uh, provider. I'm just going to copy this and put it on a notepad here. So it's asking me to go my provider and, and add this record. So my provider is uh, this company. And I'm going to go ahead and add, say add record. And it's the text. That's what they're requesting. And this is the host. I'm going to copy it as is. And now uh, what they're saying is some DNS managers add the quotes automatically. So I'm going to copy it first without the quotes to see if my company adds it automatically. And as you can see in the preview, they're already adding the quotes, so I don't need to. But if yours doesn't, when you preview, just add the quotes. I'm going to change this to one minute so we can do it quickly. So I'm going to just wait a couple of minutes for this to happen so we can come back and verify. In the meantime, while uh, we're waiting, please go ahead and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up for more content like this. 
All right, now that I waited a couple of minutes, I'm going to go ahead and hit the enter to verify. Now, if you did not wait enough time and you hit the enter and it did not verify, it'll ask you to do it again. So, you know, don't worry about it. So it's saying it did not find it yet. So I'm just going to have to wait a little bit longer. But as you can see, it's asking me to retry, check, or ignore and continue. But I'm just going to wait a little. All right, so let's go ahead and try again. And as you can see, the validation succeeded. And now it's going to just generate the new SSL certificate or not. It's asking me to actually go ahead and valid. All right, so it's asking me to delete this record that I created and then verify. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to this record and just delete it. And I'm just going to wait one minute again for this to delete and then verify it again, press enter again. So I'm just going to pause and come back in a couple of minutes. All right, let's go ahead and try and hit enter. All right, so basically copying the certificate, it went ahead and copied the certificate here. And let's take a look. And here it is. So if I'm going to go ahead and double click it and install it on my machine to take a look at it. If I go to my store. Here it is. And if I go to details, and now if I go to subject to the DNS names, as you can see, the DNS name is basically anything.mydomain.com. Okay, so the, to uh, test things out, I have on IIS, I added to, the, to port 443 the www and FTP and web three uh, dns names and as you can see i i associated them with the uh, with the certificate so now if i opened the browser and i go to https www.mazurelabs.com as you can see here's the certificate and here's the dns name if I added web, which is the second DNS name, same thing as you can see. Here it is. And if I added the word FTP, it's the same thing. So now basically I added a, a wildcard certificate and uh, you can use any DNS name behind this this domain and the certificate would work. So that concludes our video. Please remember to subscribe and hit that uh, like button for more content like this. And we'll see you soon. Have a good day.